So you've been, you've broken a lot of barriers with this role as a non-binary actor and playing a non-binary gender queer character. What does that mean to you? What's the response been like on that? It's been kind of undescribable. It's, it's something that I never really thought would happen. It's never something that I, I thought I would be able to do in my lifetime. And it's always something that I wanted to do, but it was always this sort of like far away thing where it's like, oh, you always hear like, be the change you hear in the world, or be the change you want to see in the world. And, and it's, I've always wanted to do that, but it, it always seemed like, like just this, just this saying that it would never actually apply to me. And so to have that actually be able to be my life, to be able to live that, to be the change that I want to see has been very incredible. And I'm super honored to be able to do that for people. Um, when Susie and Roz find out about Sabrina in the first part of the season, they're pretty, you know, eventually like, accepting of it. Um, will that become more complicated as the part two, you know, evolves and like maybe they learn more about Sabrina's world? We definitely, we definitely get to be a part of it a lot more, which I, as an actor, very happy about. <laughs> but I think it's it, it almost parallels with with Susie's journey where with Sabrina we we find out about who she truly is and we find out about these sort of two separate worlds and how they intertwine and in season two it's definitely a journey to understand that it, it's not about the label it's not about who you are it's about it's about the person inside it's about the soul it's about that none of this really affects you it's it's how you relate to it that, that matters. It's whether or not you in and of yourself are still a good person if you're the same. And, and I think that's been really fun to go through and it's been interesting to see how, how that storyline also relates, like that more fantastical storyline relates to something more real like when Susie transitions it's, it's a very similar feeling where people have to get used to seeing through the label and seeing into who you truly are as a person, as a soul. So. What has been your reaction to seeing how fans have reacted to the first season of the show? It's, it's been incredible. It's been so much more than I could ever imagine. It's, it's kind of one of those things that you can never quite prepare for how it's going to be. You can never quite prepare for what's going to happen until it happens. And just to have so many beautiful like queer kids growing up who DM me every single day talking about how, how Susie and... and me being so vocal about being non-binary myself has helped them. I have, I've saved a list of the amount of people who have told me that I, that Susie and myself have helped them come out to their parents, and that that seeing Susie reflected on screen, seeing themselves reflected, um, has changed their lives and has helped them understand more of who they are. And it's just such an incredible feeling, and it's and it's something that I, as a kid, wanted to see reflected back at me and never could. And so to have the opportunity to to show that to the world has been amazing. Looking at season one, if that if the major arc of that was Sabrina kind of coming to terms with her witchy side, what is the main arc of season two going to be? I think just generally, it's it's coming to term with coming to terms with how that plays into her life and how that whether or not a transition of any kind changes you as a person and and dealing with how to stay true to yourself and, and dealing with how to not let outside forces and how not to let other people telling you what to do affect how you live your life and who you are and what your morals are and what, what you feel is right. Um, and I think that relates to both Sabrina and, and Susie's storyline. I think just, just coming to realize that you can control your own path, that you can forge your own way and, and you can do some good despite your transitions, whatever they may be. <laughs> Being a fan of Doctor Who, was it a thrill to work with Michelle Gomez? Oh my God, she's incredible. <laughs> she's totally she's the the uh, she's a positive, massive, just destructive force in the best kind of way. I adore that woman. She everything that comes out of her mouth is pure gold, and it's it's amazing. I love that woman. So yes, it was incredible.